<laughs> Look at that! This is level pegging. This is incredible! Hello, welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today's cheap car challenge is going to be a spicy one. That's right, because we've got to find a fast car for no more than a thousand pounds to go head to head and challenge a Mercedes AMG G63 in a drag race. Now, even I know a thousand pounds isn't enough to buy a G-Wagon beater, which is why there's a catch to even things out on the drag strip. What is that catch, I hear you ask? Well, the G-Wagon's going to be towing a trailer and there'll be a, a car on. We've discussed this. Well, that's just, that's just giving it away. Well, you asked me the question, so I'm answering. Yeah, well, that was, <laughs> I was asking the audience. I was asking you. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, audience. <laughs> Brilliant. My bad. Anyway, before we look for a cheap, but fast car, we've got a big announcement to make. Because thanks to this week's video sponsor, Omaze, you could have the chance to win a brand new 2022 version of the Mercedes AMG G63 will be racing, complete with a 577 horsepower V8, all while supporting a great cause, Favoured Nations. Favoured Nations is a social good platform that creates exciting opportunities for their community of Gen Z and millennials to learn about making change and creating impact. Their mission is to leverage massive social media audiences to raise awareness, education and money for prominent social causes and charity partners. So what would you guys do if you want a G-Wagon? Uh, drag race people trailering cars. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably just carry a lot of wood around. I might enter. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Are you, you're not allowed to win. Oh, no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> What's more, taxes and shipping are included if you live in the United States, and all you have to do is go to omaze.com forward slash carthrottle22 and enter for your chance to win. Shall we get looking? Oh, yeah. yeah. Where are we going? Who's going where? I'm going down the deep, dark rabbit hole of auto trainer. What? No, that's like the nice light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air yeah, conditioned yeah, room. Yeah, Here are all the cars, sir. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, oh, I've got a car. <laughs> yeah, I've got a Facebook. <laughs> so what are we thinking? All right, we need to get in the mindset. We we've got to beat a G63 towing a motor vehicle. Street <laughs> KA. How about something a big engine? I think if we're looking for hot hatches, that time has definitely gone. Also, everything Japanese is going to be out. Oh yeah, no way. BMWs are out for 2022. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. no. What about a Vauxhall Vectra? Are you just saying words? How about something like a, a Vauxhall Amiga 3 litre V6? Ooh. You've got the Vauxhall Vectra 2.5 V6. I've got one. A Mazda. Yeah. Red. Yeah. 323. Okay. 1.5 GLX Fastback. Have you picked it because it's got the word fast in it? Yeah. Look how fast that back is. Alfa Romeo 166 3 litre V6 24 valve. A grand. Wow. God, it looks like a Mustang. Drives well, good condition, minor bumps, gearbox changes gears well. Does what it's meant to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably tipping the scales of like 1 1.7, 1 1.8 times. That's a bit too much. Oh, I found one of your favourites. Hyundai Coupe. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Is it a 2.7 V6? No, it's a, it's a 1.6. Oh. For a previous challenge video, a bit of like behind the scenes knowledge here. I went to go view one to you compare did. against you guys. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I turned up and it was so rotten all over. Yeah. The dealer was like, oh, give me a second. I'll go get the key so you can open it. And I walked up to it and I went, don't bother, mate. And then I just literally just walked <laughs> away. <gasps> oh, this has got to be it. No, not another one. I started it the other day, went for a quick drive around. Is it good? Oh, it's like, We've got, in quick succession, two Hyundai Coupe, two 2.7 No, we've done, we've done it. We've done the Coupe. No, we haven't. We actually haven't, though. We've, we've never, never had we? one. That's how much we've talked about it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, Ethan. I thought you'd be warmed up by now. You're going backwards. Don't even look. Oh, my God. We could. We, we could, could what? We could. Why? Imagine, well, imagine why, if we turned up with why that. Why would we? Yeah, think, but we think what they'd say. Don't get excited about this. It's just another one. Oh, why are you looking? looking? Stop wasting why our time. Why are you looking at PC Stop Cruises? Using. You two just don't get this it. Is, wait, look like at that. Look at that. Sorry. Oh, shut up. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Look, five grand though. No, yeah. no, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Jack, stop wasting our time. <gasps> is it another PT Cruiser? 
a Range Rover. That's cool. It is cool. No, it's yeah, this really is going to be yeah. really good for our off-road challenge tomorrow. Oh, oh no, well, wait, he can sorry, he can suggest sorry, stuff. No, we're doing a drag race. So, so he can suggest cool cars. No, yeah, I but can't. we're on a level. Uh, 1999 Ford Cougar 2.5 V6. Get it. Call them up. Look at that. Oh wow. That's what we want. Haven't we had one? Oh my god. Are you? <laughs> what? Are you, are you actually <laughs> taking the piss no. now? We that we have had one of them at Kerbra. <laughs> Honestly, everyone, oh, really I've got to take a time out here and apologise to you. I'm having a bit of a shock. Ethan is having a real shock, and he's now confused a Puma for a Cougar. Two very different cars. Right, I'm going to have to Google this. Don't Google ropey Cougar. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. There's something wrong with it, though. 3.30. 195,000 miles. I love it. You're one extreme or the other, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Solid gold, pure dog egg. <laughs> MOT until May 22. Drives great, right? Don't delay, call today, question mark. BMW though, can't do it. Oh! You broke your own rule. Right, I'm now gonna go on eBay and search for... Cars. Cars. <laughs> <laughs> Should I text Adam? Let's see if he's got anything. So we need something that's gonna be a G-Wagon G63 towing a car. Okay, I'll be very explicit. Yeah, he'll I'll, get the idea. Um, I'll text Adam, should I text um, Ross as well? Yeah. Oh, what about... Um, Audi TT. There's one here for four grand, which is quite a lot. Look how smart that looks. Yeah, they do And look for good. a modern classic, yeah. I think four grand is, is not a high price to pay. I mean, you loved yours. Yeah. We've done TT though. I am actually done with TT. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Literally the worst car I've ever worked on. The packaging is just terrible. <laughs> this is, sorry, I'm not going to go on a rant. But You want to though, don't you, a little bit? But honestly, TTs. <laughs> Adam has sent a couple of things through. Yeah. Right. What's he got? He sent an Astra 1.6 SXI no, C70 2 litre convertible. Oh, I'm actually asking that. And he has sent. Oh, he bought this at auction. Oh, 406 good. 3 litre V6. A coupe? <gasps> Shut up. I really like these. Would that do it? I really like these. Oh, you've been banging on about yeah. it for a little while. About yeah. 10 years I've wanted to drive one of these. <laughs> get, Honestly, get, legit. We'll get that then. About 210 brake. 210 brake. And this what, like 1.5, one, one 1.5 tonne? This, I think this will probably do like 140. He said these 406s have a bit of a cult following. Owners are a bit weird. <laughs> be great if you wrecked it. Could we be onto um, a winner? Close I'm half no, like, close closing it. it. So he's only just bought it at auction. And he says if you guys want it, then go and pick it up from the auction house. Well, this is fate, isn't it? It's now? a three litre V6. Yeah. Over 200 horsepower. This come to us. Oh. I'm very excited for this. Really? I'm very excited, yeah. Oh. Can you not tell? His whole life has been leading up to this moment. Should we keep looking? Five more minutes? No, I'm done. My phone's off. I'm putting it in my pocket. I think this is our car. We're going to beat a Mercedes with a Peugeot. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Plus yeah, it's what, 900 so. quid? Yeah. The next day, Ethan and Jack headed over to collect the 406 after Adam, the same dealer we bought Jack Saab off a couple of years ago, bought it from an online auction. Right, and here it is, our G-Wagon contender. As you can see, Peugeot 406 Coupe. Jack, you know some stats about this now, don't you? So it's a three litre V6. Oh, uh, that's, that's good, that's, that's a good exciting. start. But the stats are 210 horsepower, Roundabout. Around 210 pound foot. Yep. Jack, this is a 150 mile an hour car. Not bad for 900 quid, is it? Overall condition, we'll ignore the bonnet. Yeah, if Something's you, gone wrong there, hasn't some, it? Something malicious almost. It doesn't look very good. I mean, you suggested maybe it was like some brake fluid or something. It looks like someone's been scratching at yeah, it. It's a three owner vehicle. The engine, you've driven it back from the auction house, right? Feel all right? Well, there's an engine light on the dash, but the engine isn't my worry. Pininfarina designed. And to get one under a grand, I think is an absolute steal. Well, I had a quick look around for these and there wasn't, definitely wasn't any V6s for that money. Yeah. Definitely. I think yeah. we've lucked out. 0 to 60 in 7.4. Yeah. So maybe, I reckon we could do a quarter mile in 14, 15 seconds. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We'll find out what a G-Wagon can do towing a car. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> it looks sleek, doesn't it? It looks really like it sleek. slice through the air. <gasps> you get attacked by a wasp. I am getting attacked, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it just looks a bit like a fish. It, it does look like, like a bottom feeder. A bottom feeder, yeah. Yeah. But, oh, fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The interior is oh. in really good shape. 
That's really nice. Yeah. I was surprised actually when I got in it and I uh, drove it back from the auction house. I was like, there's a hint of luxury here. Yeah. But what I like is that there's no like blood or weird stains yeah, on the exactly. roof lining. It's actually very straight. You got cruise control. Yep. Oh, look, you've got a tape deck as well. If you don't know what a tape is, Google it. What's that? This is awesome history. Big old stack of it. Look at that. Pretty good. And what's this? A leather bound pack. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, let's smell it. That <sighs> sort of smells like leather. What you got there? You just got These are all just odds and sods, well. yeah, invoices. Wow. It was cared for once upon wow. a time. Let me just get in. Do you, have, do you have a little sniff? And then, oh, shut up. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. It's cool, isn't it? And there's plenty of headroom as well. My torso is actually normal size. It's my it's my legs that completely screw me over. Uh, like a penguin. Yeah, well, yeah, actually, if I were an animal, I would be a rock hopper penguin. That is my uh, spirit animal. Or a, a seal pup. <laughs> Could this be the ultimate sub 1,000 pound, 150 mile an hour car? Have we just opened the eyes of everyone watching this to the Peugeot 406 Coupe. Pininfarina designed. Go out there and get a 406 before they're all mega expensive. Because yeah. the, the word's out now. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so much worse. And weight reduction. That was covering over some leaks. Let's put yeah, that back. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Happy? Oh. Overall, though, I think this is a very good purchase. Bodywork aside, mm -hmm. the engine works. We've yes. got MOT, three owners, and in the book, 150 miles an hour. I think this was definitely the best car that we could have chosen. Let's um, go and find out if we can beat a G-Wagon with a trailer and a car. And with that, good night. And so you join us at the location for our out of the box drag race. To Western Aerodrome has an airstrip that measures 0.8 miles long. But the best bit? It's a live runway, so we'll have to rely on walkie-talkies to ensure we avoid any head-on collisions that definitely won't buff out. We're here then. We are. Peugeot's here. I know. Amazing. G-Wagon's here. And the G-Wagon is looking mighty glorious. Do you want to do um, best of three? Yeah, we'll do best of three, so we can start with normal start from dead. Yeah. And then see who wins. And well, then we what can we do... Like, what? Oh, that's decision. What's he doing? What's he doing with that? Well, we're putting the Saab on. No, he's not putting my Saab on. It's you too late. Know. You didn't know. Since when are we putting the Saab on it? Yeah, keep it. Well, what, what else are we going to use? Literally anything. Well, there's nothing else no, here. No, the X5. The Saab, though. Yeah. Go on, it'll be all right. It'll yeah, be the yeah. fastest it's ever gone. Oh, beautiful. Look, it just fits on oh, beautifully. Looks oh, so, it, it looks Wait, so, it looks so Wait, I'm sorry. Sorry, Jack. It's, sorry, mate. It's on. It's on. We're locked in. We're locked in. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Cheers, Mike. Right, strap on. Uh, strap in. <laughs> you could be in the there. I could be in there. Why don't you get in the boot as well? <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. A bit nervous about this engine light as we got on. Right, so I'm in a 2016 G63 AMG, 550 horsepower. This thing will do 0 to 60 in around 5.5 seconds. Top speed, 130 miles an hour. That doesn't really matter, it's shaped like a brick. The caveat with this one is obviously, I've got a trailer and I've got Jack's car, the Saab 9.3 on the trailer. I really do hope that the 406 wins because it's, it's the challenge. The challenge is to win. Let's, uh, let's see how Ethan and Jack are getting on. How are you feeling in there, lined up next to me in the G63? Yes. And with that, Shall we just get straight into the drag race? Let's do it. Go! Come on, G! Oh, good start! Good start by the G with the train! Oh my god, I am away! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it! Oh, this is it's in the bag! Speed up! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Uh, 90 miles an hour with a trailer on the back. That's the fastest I've ever done. Do we have enough runway? Yes, we do. This car is absolutely incredible. I thought we had him. There was a shift that was horrible. This gearbox hated it. <laughs> Did you hear it? It was like, uh, uh, I've never done this in my life. Okay, so it's 1-0 to the G-Wagon, unfortunately. How about this time I give you guys the hit on the start? 
Yeah, that, that's kind. All right then, we're ready. Let's do this. Yes, come on. Yes, they're off. They've got a good start there. Come on, G. Come on, G. I mean, no, come on, not G. Come on, got oh, our gear changes. We've got this. Terrible. We've come got on, this. Come on. <laughs> come on, Pasho. Come on, Pasho. Oh my God, come on, Pasho. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it by a lot. Come on. Yes, Pasho. This is level pegging. This is incredible. Oh my God. Oh my. I am so happy. Hey, come on. Wow, that was. That was amazing. Once we both got up to speed, there was nothing in it. We absolutely smashed you. <laughs> it's one all. I think we need a decider. You want to do a rolling start from 20 miles an hour, and when we hit the line, then we go foot flat. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. This is very much David. Well, injured David versus Goliath. Injured Goliath, right? Oh yeah, I'm Goliath. Yeah, I'm Goliath. No one's ever called me Goliath. They have for me. <laughs> what are your predictions? I think it'll be closer than the first race, but I still think it'll win. I think I'm going to sneak past the line, probably about 110 miles an hour with a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be worth it then. All right then, let's set off 20 miles an hour. My car is in sport mode, their car is in sport mode. Let's see what happens. I'm in third gear currently. And punch it! Oh, wow! Yes! Go on, Jack! Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 406! Oh! You can't do it! It's close! Come on. Wow! 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 Oh my you can do it! Come on, Jack! Come on, Pajo! Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! The G just got it by a whisker. I thought we had him. <laughs> that was 100 miles an hour as well. I'm happy that I won, but I'm sad that the 406 lost because that was our challenge car and it's not quite done it for us. But I mean, fair play, we spent 900 quid on it. We got it from an auction yesterday. That was a good effort, wasn't it, from the Peugeot? But you've got to give it to the G-Wagon. It is towing a 1.6 tonne car with a trailer. I mean, this thing is monumental. Yeah, it's a monster, and today has definitely shown that. Maybe we should make this a thing. Hey, do you want to see more drag races with a G-Wagon and a trailer and a car? Oh, that could be fun. Okay, so the day on the runway is done, and as we know, the Mercedes was the winner today. But the mighty Peugeot 406 Coupe, I mean, how do you feel about that? It put up a good fight, didn't it? It really did. I mean, 210 horsepower versus 550 horsepower, albeit towing a trailer yeah. with your Saab on the back. I'm impressed. It's, it's nice to see a car go really fast with a trailer <laughs> behind it, because you, you're limited on the road, so it's yeah, speaking quite of, surreal. Speaking of going fast, I can say that I've done 100 miles an hour towing a trailer. It's a tick. Big old tick. Yeah, <laughs> mom's going to be super proud. <laughs> anyway, hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to head over to omaze.com forward slash carthrottle22 and enter for your chance to win a Mercedes AMG G Wagon. Donations support favoured nations to help them raise awareness, education, and money for prominent social causes and charity partners. Thanks again for watching. If you want to subscribe to the Car Throttle YouTube channel, then click on this link and don't forget to watch more videos down there. From us, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.